All right, let's go ahead and start right, that again. Let's go again. That dang Mary. Ugh. It's always her fault. She Worst. ruins everything. everything. What the heck? This sounds stupid, and how? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I think so. Here's. Hold on, let me call you back, though. I love you. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have a name for the upcoming Star Wars movie. What is it? Han Solo movie. Sorry. Small price tag of 140 mi three million dollars. <laughs> F me. <laughs> ah, blah, blah. So oh, close. Here, here. Scarlet Witch. Ooh, that's interesting. You know, that is interesting. You saw them get pretty close in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> that is interesting. For this small per right? no, 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 You were no, feeling no, it. No. The energy was good. The energy was good. New Line has found the perfect man child to play Earth's mightiest, Earth's mightiest mortal. Feel the Take feel a deep the breath. The ocean. You know what? People always tell me to slow down and I never I just need to Okay. My little my little pony's my favorite pony. A new non-stinging wasp is... <laughs> oh you got gosh. it. Listen, I feel you. I empathize. These are not easy words. No, three, two, one. Mystic reporter Sippy from standing outside of Best Boy. Best Boy! <laughs> Best Boy! Yay! <laughs> but that hasn't stopped our stupidly optimistic... S our... No, no, no. Time we have today... Something. <laughs> what am, I guess it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, all right, I'm rolling. Ready? We got this. That's your cue for this is the one that's going to work. So just yep. look at the hand. <laughs> Hey Geek fans, I'm Steve. And I'm Mary. And welcome to Geek. <laughs> welcome! You guys, this week we decided to do something a little bit different and short and... What are fun. we doing? Fun! It's yes. fun! <laughs> we're going to talk about our top three movies. Of 2017, of 2017 and our top three movies we're looking forward to for 2018. So, yeah. That's super excited. Okay, so what, was, what, was your, what were your top three movies, Mary? Okay, so I think my top three movies, in no particular order, mind you, were Wonder Woman, Get Out, and The Big Sick. But I haven't seen Lady Bird yet, and I'm really excited to see that, so... I've heard that was really good. Yeah. It no longer has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, unfortunately. Well, They're, can't win a Someone that. didn't like it. <laughs> sure, that person hates babies, too. Oh, so why, so why so were those your top three movies? Well, you know, Wonder Woman, I'm not going to lie, made me cry because it just was so awesome to see one of my personal I idols and superheroes on the big screen, her own movie, kicking butt. Um, anyway, I just that was like really empowering for me. And then I really liked Get Out because I think the message is really important about racism in America, not to get too political, but I, I just thought that was like a very um, creative take on it for such a like difficult t subject to talk about, I think, sometimes. Um, it definitely made me check my white privilege, so I think that's really important. And then I loved The Big Sick because it was just like this wonderful combination of humor and heart and, I don't know, it just was wonderful. What about you? Tell me yours. I don't know, I've been thinking the whole time you were talking. <laughs> I've been trying to figure yeah, out what my it. top three movies were because I didn't think in advance. I was like, oh, yeah. well, I know what they are. And then as you're listening off the movies, it was like, oh, crap. I'm not going to well, lie. I was like looking on my know. phone, movies of 2017. Well, because I kind of go Rem back. So I was like, okay, I well, remember. Well, did yeah. something come out in February that I really liked? I don't right. remember. It's so long um, ago. Okay, well, I will agree with you right off the bat on one, which is Wonder Woman. Because that was a great movie. It was a very well-told story. I love so the fact good. that... You know, there's often complaints of, well, they'll, they'll take a character, and it's a female character, but it might as well be a man. You know, it's like an action yeah. hero. And in this case, it wasn't. She was an action star, but she was a woman, and she thought about things as a woman. It wasn't just like, yeah. well, I'm going to go in and kill everybody. It was, I could see, like, my wife being Wonder Woman, and that oftentimes you don't get. And, and the strength of femininity. I think yes. oftentimes we find they think femininity can be weak, but no, you can be this empowering, strong woman and still have those tendencies that do make you a woman and make you feminine or whatever. I don't know. You guys do yeah, it that so, way you yeah. will, internet. Yeah, so I, I love that. Well, in fact, last night when I was arriving home from work, I could see through the basement window and I could see that my, my kids were watching Wonder Woman. Aww. And I was like, awesome. And I wanted to go downstairs and, and watch it, but I had to help my wife with dinner. So, so <laughs> definitely um, Wonder Woman. Um, the next one, right off, which I just saw last week, um, would be The Greatest Showman. Oh. I, I seen it absolutely yet. loved that movie. Cool, I want to see it. Um, the music, I, I, I enjoy musicals as much as the next heterosexual man. <laughs> um, I, really, I, I like them, but yeah. I don't go out of my way to see them. But something about that movie when I saw the preview was like, that movie's going to be awesome. So I took the entire family to go see it, and it was awesome. And like I, when I saw La La Land, I loved the story of La La Land, but the music was kind of meh. <laughs> this one, the story, and there's like four, four of the songs are like full on, like 
in a normal music would be like, well, that's the top song. Ooh, like the big There's number. like four numbers in there where, where the, the music is just incredible, where the songs have just this great emotion. Absolutely loved that movie. I see it. Um, and then my my a third one would probably be it because I, I like Justice League, but I didn't love Justice League, mm. so I don't think that can be in my top yeah. three. I'm yeah. trying to remember. Oh, the <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy two was the big. Oh yeah, that one was fun. Marvel. Oh, it would be Thor Ragnarok would be my third one oh, for yeah. sure. Thor Ragnarok. That was great. That was just a fun freaking movie. Um, I, again, I love Star Wars too, but I, these three for me were the top. They, they would be my top movies of the year. Well, now let's talk about 2018 because there's a lot of great things coming out this year that we're really looking forward to. Steve, what are you, what are you looking forward to most? Okay, first and foremost, Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> I've, I well, am so yeah. excited for that movie. I think that's going to be the number one movie of the year. Um, so I'm really looking forward that to that one. I'm also looking forward to Black Panther. I'm, obviously, I'm a Ooh, geek. I love those too. movies. Me too. I forgot about Black Panther. Yeah, Sorry. see, because Black Panther takes us to a whole different part yeah. of the world. Um, a whole different culture. Everything else has been mm -hmm. set in the States and just a little bit to be in Africa and then have them be true to that where there's a lot of African culture in there. That looks awesome. awesome. Um, and then I would have to say Incredibles 2. Ooh. But because, okay, I love The Incredibles. I mm -hmm. think it's the best Pixar movie. Um, but I've never wanted a sequel to that Me neither. Movie. Me neither. I've never wanted a sequel. So I'm, I'm excited for it. But also part like, of me, because I, tr I trust, yeah, I trust yeah. Pixar because yeah. I didn't want a Toy Story 2 and obviously Toy Story 2 was incredible Phenomenal. and Toy Story 3 as well. So I trust them, but it's not a movie I wanted the sequel to. For me, it was a perfect entity in and of Same. itself. So well, hopefully it'll, it'll blow my mind. But yeah. those are, those are my, <laughs> probably my top three without like going in depth and like looking, which I did not do. I um, I right know. off the top of my brain, those are the three that, that kind of, I'm excited. Jump out at you? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think about, I, I'm really excited for Ocean's 8. That does look interesting. I think that's going to be really fun. Um, I was like really hooked by the teaser trailer or whatever. Phenomenal cast, super stoked about that. And I'm also excited about A Wrinkle in Time. So that one doesn't, I don't know, I it saw the trailers like, and I was kind of like, I just was, ah. I loved the book as a kid. I think that's one of the, my main motivators. I love, I think it's another great cast. I mean, so I'm excited about that one. And then of course, Avengers Infinity War. I'm pretty stoked about yeah. that. Yeah, so. <laughs> we got her on that one. We got her on that one. Oh yeah. Plus, well, my boyfriend. Yeah. Just, just Sebastian kidding. Sebastian <laughs> Stan, he's in it and he's got a major role. Yeah, and you know. It's going to happen between the two. <laughs> I, I've got a feeling. It's going to happen. I, I have a feeling this is, it's going to be reciprocated. <laughs> I do. Yeah, well. Well, that's our show for this week. Please like us on social media, Facebook. We're on YouTube, Instagram, you know, all the things. So we want to hear from you guys. We love you, and we hope you enjoyed the show. That's right. And remember, we're giving away all kinds of giveaways. We just gave away all the, the, the we had we announced yep. the winners this week of the Mother Love and Stocking Stuff <laughs> giveaway. We had all kinds of great stuff. So we're going to be giving away more things. So keep it there. And always remember, we are geek. Dancing to the music.